Welcome back team. In this video, we are going to use a SQL connect object and we're going to connect to SQL Server. I'm on my local computer, but this could work across your network and to other remote machines. So I created a command line app and we're going to be calling this test connect. I couldn't think of anything better. Now, because this is a console app, you'll know that the main is a static method and this gets called by the operating system. And then we have our class object here called a SQL Server Connect. Now our first and most important thing is that variable. That variable is of type object SQL Connection. And this is what we're going to be using to actually connect to SQL Server. Now there's a couple ways to do it, but you know we're going to kind of like use like the easiest method. And what we're going to do is we're going to go into our app config and we're going to create a thing called app settings. And inside of app settings, what we're going to do is we're going to put all the important attributes we need to even connect to SQL Server. And they kind of look like this. So what this is telling me is I have a username called Scott and his password is 12345. And that's on my local desktop machine here and I've got one called my SQL 19. This is the name of the server running on my machine. This is the catalog. And if I do any profiling, it'll be under this name called test connection. If I don't have this, when I go profiling and I'm in a like an enterprise environment, profiling becomes unmanageable. There's just way too many users using it. So now I can limit it down just to this one app, which is pretty cool. Okay, so now that I've got this app settings, we just can't use this straight up. We have to go into our references and we have got to go add a reference to this. And we're going to come in here and type in config. And then over here, a little box is going to pop up and we're going to check that and we're going to say OK. Now, once we do that, we've got to do one other thing to the top of this program so we don't have to use the using statement. And that's going to be using. Uh, configuration. So there's two more uh, parameters I want to use that here to kind of like let me know what's going on and we're going to make those public as well and that's the version and the last error message. Those are kind of very important because I don't know what kind of database I might be connecting to you know version 8, version 12, version 15. When you connect to SQL Server this object will then tell me what the version is. So the first thing we're going to drop in here is a, uh, it's a class object to actually do connect. So we're going to say uh, public bool connect, no input parameters. And the reason why we don't have any input parameters is because we're going to be using this app config file. They've already been defined for us. All we have to do is like uh, do a connection. Now, what I always do is even when I have an app config and I make it, you know somebody can come in there and mess things up for us. And there's two kinds of users, those that will mess it up and those that are going to mess it up. So that's what happens just about every day in my life. Someone messes things up. So as a programmer, what we can do is we can make sure that this file contains the attributes that I need. And if one of these is missing, then I'm going to return false and like an error message and say, hey, something happened inside of this app config file. You know, one of these are missing and uh, you can't continue. So I hope that makes sense. So we kind of like uh, do some testing here. And as soon as we come into this method called connect, we're just going to test that. We're going to say, hey, check app config. Hey, is that app config good? If it's not good, let's get out of here. And the error message got set down here. Uh, notice I initialized error message to nothing. And then if I have an error, it gets populated. So once I grab a good app config file, I can then set that to my local variables. And here you can see that I have taken each of those keys username, password, server, catalog, and the name, and I've applied them to local variables. Notice that I did a two string on each of these. 
And now that we have that, it's pretty much, you know, like all systems go, we can actually connect to that database. Of course, somebody had to tell you all these values. I mean, they just, I'm not going to appear. You have to go in there and set up SQL Server correctly, correct? So what we're going to do here is we're then going to call this method called connect, and we are going to uh, just connect it to uh, our database that we've already created. So notice that I have sent in username, password, server name. You can see that here. And now our last little method here is I'm going to build a connection string. And that connection string, I could build it, or there's a method that's given to us by uh, .NET, and that is called connection string builder. So you just pass in those same parameters and it builds a nice connection string and we're going to be using that here. So now I have my connection string. I then go out to this variable that we've defined at the top here, dbcon, db connection, if you will, and I'm going to pass in that connection string to this variable, which is this dbcon.connection string. I'm then going to try to do that open command. And after this open command executes, it's going to raise the state. And the state I'm looking for is connection state open. And when, once that's open, this guy has data. So I'm going to get that server version and I'm going to put it in this, this local variable to this class object called underscore DB version. And I'm going to re return true. If any other state, you know, other than this closed, whatever, whatever other state is available and it's not open, I'm going to give you false. I'm going to return false. Now, there's even a bigger type error. There's a SQL client error. For instance, if you didn't set up SQL Server correctly, you got a SQL exception. Another type of exception is no memory, uh, those type, you know, like operating system type errors. In fact, maybe it's just because, you know, like a, we've run out of memory here or something like that. So this is our class that we're going to be calling. We're going to be calling these three, and we're going to like uh, build a connection string to SQL Server. So when I come over to our main, main is where it all starts. The first thing I have to say is I have to say var uh, connect equal new SQL Server connect. That's the class that we just wrote. And then I'm going to say bool, which is going to be the return value, equals conn dot connect open close. So why didn't I pass any parameters here? Well, let's go look at that one more time. Remember, I'm going to go out to this app config file and that's all my inputs. You know, we don't need to keep retyping them. So whoops, don't save. And that's what's going to happen there. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to test that return value. If that return value is false, I've got a pretty big problem, you know, like uh, something happened. One of those errors that I just talked about had happened. So if it's false, I'm going to write out that error that got set in this method. And what would be cool is, you know, like after I open it and I do something, you know, whatever that is, you need to close that database connection. You know, you don't want a bunch of them like hanging around. So what we need to do is we need to add one more method to our class over here to finish things up. And we are going to drop it here at the bottom and it's the close. So if that database is not equal to null and it's not closed already, then we're going to close it. So we just come back to this guy and then we just say connection, the name of our, our object here, C-O-N-N dot close. And then I'm going to take away that variable. I'm just going to set it to null. And there we have it. So let's uh, save this. Let's build. And looks like we got blue star programming there, no errors. So now I'm going to step through this. You step through it by hitting F10. So F10, I build the object. I go in there to connect. Ooh, let's check that config file. Hey, is username in there? Nope. Where is it? Okay, so I gotta go, I gotta go look to see what's going on here. So I'm gonna I'm gonna stop this madness. Well here, let's see what happens here. 
I'm going to go to my output file and look what happened. Username is missing from at config file. So let's stop this. So what did I put in here? Oh, I didn't do it. So how do, how do I put those in there? Well, I put in app settings and I drop those in there. So now let's try it. I'm going to hit F10 again, step through there. Okay, my connect was good. I'm going to now get my values. So Scott, one, two, three, four, five, my server name, my catalog, and my application name. Cool. I'm now going to try to connect. F11 steps in. I build my connection string. Let's see what that looks like. See that? That's a very complicated pattern. Let, let a .NET do that for you. Now we're going to get in there and we're actually going to assign that connection string to this object. And here's where the gold is. dbcon.open. Let's try it. What's the connection state? It's open. See, the connection state is open. So is, does open equal open? Yeah. So I'm going to set the version. The version is 15. 0, 0, 2070. I'm going to set it to that global variable. And then I'm going to return true. Return true. And then I'm going to test that return value. Hey, did that equal false? No, it didn't equal false. It equal true. Now I'm going to close it. Step in there. What's my state? My state is open. Is open not equal close? Of course not. Close it. Return true. And I'm done. And there you have it. That is how you can connect to SQL Server with SQL Connect. Hope you enjoyed this video. See you next time.